Oh yeah. Lions. Automobilia Museum. Down in LA. Right off of 710. We were here in 2021. And there is a live video uh, on you uh, no not on youtube it's on our facebook page uh from that time when we were here with fireball and rick and lana and everybody was walking us through this place but that was 2021 just around when all the craziness happened and uh we were in here with the uh, low uh broadband and the video was going in and out i wasn't really happy with it but today we get to go through and see all this in calm and fun and all their new builds and all the cool stuff that they've done since we were here in 2021. I mean, who has their own speed shop <laughs> right inside the door? Oh, this is such a lovely place. And a foster freeze. And uh, all the art, or most of the art, is uh, by Kenny Youngblood, which is really cool. And many of these things tell a story. When you come here, you may get to see Sharon, who is not sitting there right now, but she'll be sitting there for you, waiting for you. And she will tell you the story about all of these scenes that you have uh, in or out of uh, the facility. There's a little thing about Rick's story here. I'll give you a chance. You can stop and read it later. Uh, I'll just give you a screenshot, so to say, right there. Uh, but there's a story behind every uh, scene inside this wonderful facility. And there's so many cool things sitting. You can, you know, I'll probably I'll probably end up doing four or five separate videos. Uh, of the facility so right now we're going to start with this room right here kind of walk you through all of their foundations awesomeness how you doing fine how are you doing not too bad thanks for having us oh thanks for coming Enjoy. we appreciate it so they'll handle all the guest services right here as you come in and you can buy happy stuff and all the things you and you can probably also donate to the to foundation if they want to right yes yeah absolutely so this is the place yes. yep that's what helps uh keep this place up and uh keep the docents happy <laughs> so you can uh see all these beautiful rides hanging out having fun and they do have events here too and we'll peek at the the when it was here last time, they just started to build an event center. And I'm really excited about the chance to get to see that one, you know. God, look at the candy on that one. 1940 Willis Gaster, 1,200 horsepower, 392. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Beaver Hunter, huh? That's one way of calling it. God, look at that motor. Wow. And they got the uh, recordings in the background talking about all the stuff that's going on in certain places. Let's see, they're on the left, so we're gonna go on the right. We'll start with a row of tri-fives. So we have a 1955 Nomad. We got a 1956 Bel Air convertible. And we have a 57 Bel Air Sport Coupe with fuel injection. There's a lot of special cars here. Uh, there's a whole story about the Ram jet. If you wanna read the stuff right here we'll do two shots like that and like that you can pause it if you want in 1963 60, yeah 63 
409 SS Impala. What a gem. All perfectly maintained. Black on black. 409. Bet there's a pair of cheater sleeks in the trunk. 67 442. Do you know what 442 stand for? Tell us in the comments. <laughs> There'll be a fight in the comment over who's right. 1950 Studebaker Champion Convertible in copper. Beautiful matching. Triple, triple brown, I guess you could say. Brown metallic on the outside, brown leather interior, and a brown cloth top. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those lights, the forward lean and the prop in the center. Oh, yeah. Nice little plastic hood ornament. Chrome for days. 1948 Ford station wagon. Oh, yeah. This thing's like flawless. Wow. Red, red wine, 1950 Olds Holiday 88. Absolutely perfect. Look at this moon. Big old headers, even the, the lid is matching. <laughs> Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Look at that hood ornament too. All right, so then the end cap on this, oh, look at the glass hood. Check that out. That's a way to display it. I wonder how much that one cost. <laughs> and then you have this little fun cart. Dodge them. <laughs> That's cool. Look, and a nice little trim over there. A little flag. Later on, we'll get into the Lorenz, <laughs> Lorenz and Motors. I said, wait, listen there. We'll, I promise we'll walk by everyone. Then you get a nice little Nash Metropolitan convertible. And yeah, we're going to have some of those tiny cars all set up the right way. And all the goodies. Hungry? <laughs> There's a lot of uh, really cool memorabilia from all kinds of races from all over the world all strewn throughout the place and then you got this incredible diner Can you imagine having your own diner yeah you see all the other rooms through the windows <laughs> it's gonna be a good day But yeah, you can have your event here too. It's possible with a guy like Rick and, and his team. Uh, they can arrange to have have your club events or any of those special things going on. Just call them at uh, Lions Memorabilia Foundation here in uh, are we in Long Beach. I think we're in Long Beach. Sixty-four Amphicar Hudson Hornet convertible. Two crazy Swedes. <laughs> De Tomasa Pantera. GTO. Oh, oh. Everything in here is like perfect. Just almost perfect. Or untouched originals. GTO. Oh, 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 oh. But there's. One car that I've been drawing over the whole time, the Sephora. <laughs> Look at this long, sleek, beautiful green custom. Just gorgeous. Here comes the beautiful Sharon. That's the gal you will see when you walk in the door at the Lions Automotive Museum. <laughs> You're all good. 
Yeah, a lot of happy staff here. That's Sephir. Just a whole nother way of doing it. All the right doodads. All the right stuff. And this one is for Scotto. Here's another way to do the Carson Top. So Scotto is building his Carson Top. And there are so many ways of doing them as there are builders out there. So this is just one way uh, that this car was done. And I do applaud every custom that has windows, unless it was a true roadster. But uh, by the time you finish that, you are uh, you really accomplished something. It's one thing just welding up the holes and drive around without windows, but it takes a real customizer to put windows and trim back on. Anyhow. Got lots of drag some memorabilia here too. Mike the Mitchell Revolution. There's a little bit of the. Let's see if we can get it so you can read it. It's hard with the lights and stuff, but you screenshot it, you can try that. Then we'll go down the last aisle, starting with that 31 Ford Model A. We're we'll going to street rods relatively quickly. I like street rods better. So it's kind of interesting if you uh, if you look at the contrast. They're both the same vehicle uh, as a base, but they're done in two completely different styles. And uh, you know, they both drive, but one drives fast, stop fast, turns fast, and the other one doesn't. And more than likely, you'll have AC and all the other happy stuff in the street rod. The only AC you have is the wind in your hair on the <laughs> original one. So, street rods are generally much better cars uh, for enjoyment, but that's just my opinion. Then you got a 34 Phaeton. That is a car that I do enjoy, and I might even somewhat fit in it. <laughs> then you got the golden one of mine. It's a 1961 Pontiac Bonneville. Uh, I had a 61 convertible uh, that actually uh, we built over a long... Oh, this is a Ventura, but Bonnevilles have the same body per se and just different trim and stuff. Uh, but I love the body style. And so it brings good memory. And this one has the eight lug wheels also. This is what's called eight lug wheels. And it's got the large bolt pattern and the special drums and actually what you see in the middle is kind of the drums which is kind of cool very rare option costly then you got the gem 57 olds love that bumper love that bumper red and white red and white interior gorgeous combo absolutely gorgeous combo and a 1956 Buick Roadmaster convertible. Oh, Century, but it's got Roadmaster holes. What's going on here? Hmm, that's interesting. That's kind of a double take. I didn't know. Maybe there's a Buick expert can explain it to me, but I thought Roadmasters all had four, not Centuries. So that's a new one on me. But it clearly says Century on it, so. Wow, yeah, I can't know it all, you know. <laughs> Let me get a bone stock Mercury. Where's that, a 50, let's see, what is that? Let me look at the back. It's gotta be a 49 or a 50. Because the, the 51 has a window that comes down at an angle at the bottom and have much longer quarter panels. There's more, more things, but those are the easy one to, to know the difference. It's kinda, it's almost strange sometimes to look at a stock Mercury of the 49 to 51 era, because uh, there's most of them have been uh, customized by now. So then a Hudson Hornet convertible, also same vintage, 1951. Got real wire wheels too. Long sleek body. Huge back seat too. <laughs> yeah, we uh, 
we took a peek at the 64 amp car earlier. So this is the front room that you come in where they have the Rick's Diner and the Lions member lounge. So this room is a beautiful setup. Anyway, I will return with uh, chapter two in a little bit. Love you all. Thanks for hanging the custom mics. See ya.